Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today I thought we would do a little bit of um, experimenting with the mystery steel that we're going to make the square punch for the 500 subscriber giveaway out of. We have no idea what the steel is. So that gives us absolutely no guidance on how to heat treat it for optimal use. So what I'm going to do is, seeing as I've got a couple of these now, I'm going to take one and sacrifice it. I'm going to chop it up into three pieces. Like that one, like these ones here. And then I'm going to heat them up to critical. And then one will be air quenched, one will be oil quenched, and one will be water quenched. This should give us an idea of which medium gives us the hardest result and um, thereby gives us a guidance on which medium to use for quenching for an impact tool. We don't want the hardest, we want reasonable grain development, but we also want toughness. So, say it's water, we'll probably end up quenching in oil because that's not as fast a medium, so you end up with a slightly tougher end result. So, let's get these things hot and let's find out what we're going to be using.
this is the air cooled one oil and water they're all heated to just on critical so let's see what happens okay air quite swell tiny little bit but skates that totally skates so I'd say this is a water hardening um, but for the purposes of the punch I might just oil harden because it will leave a tougher end result so that in a nutshell is how you assess um, the hardenability and the optimum medium for an unknown steel um, if I had it I would have set up a brine one as well uh, which I expect probably would yield a harder still result than water marginally but also has a greater propensity for cracking so I think going with oil is probably our best bet so let me get things sorted and we'll make the punch in the near future there you go that's how you do a um, at the anvil shall we say um, bit of metallurgical um, examination of a mystery steel. So we now know that these pins are probably optimally oil hardening. They will harden in water. Um, I don't think it's a great idea. I think it'll yield a steel that's too brittle for these purposes. Um, but it gives us an option if we want something with a really tough edge, really hard edge, we can water harden and then temper back. But for our project that's coming up, which will be that punch, we're going to oil harden and temper back so we get as tough a piece of steel as we can. And um, hopefully we get some reasonable life out of it. And the giveaway winner, likewise, gets a reasonable life out of it. Because I'll be making two. Um, one for myself, why not? Um, I don't have a good square punch at the moment. Um, so this will probably end up being a slightly better square punch than what I've got currently. So, as always, hit the thumbs up, feel free to share on social media, and um, if you haven't subscribed, we're like two subscribers away. It keeps bouncing up and down a little bit, but at the moment we're like two subscribers away from doing the giveaway. So if we can tip it over the edge, we are very, very happy. Um, and as always, make time in your day, get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe. And I'll catch you for the next one.